Welcome back to Marbella Now. My name is Nicole King and I'm very excited to meet someone completely different today and introduce them to you too. His name is Hamsa and it's all about solar energy. But not just solar energy. They really got me when they said at zero installation cost because we all joke, Hamza, welcome to Marbella Now. Yeah. We all tend to joke about this great that we can have solar energy but the fees for putting it in, I know that you get it back and then it's cheaper. So is it really true there's zero installation cost in Oranit's solar energy? Yeah, indeed. Indeed. First of all, thank you for having me here in your studio. My pleasure. Indeed, uh, it is possible, but uh, probably I should start from a little bit earlier about uh, the solar energy and what we are doing indeed in Oranit. In Oranit, we will try to... Uh, uh, turn help our customers to turn their building into a, a solar energy power plant. Uh, what is the reasoning behind this? I know that it sounds like a good idea, but can you explain to us why we should be changing to solar energy? What are the basic benefits? The basic benefit is that the sun is shining, especially in Andalusia. So here, Andalusia is the best location in the whole Europe, in the whole Europe for insulation, for the solar insulation, it has the highest solar radiation, which means that, for example, when you compare it to a country like Germany, which has the highest uh, insulation in the whole Europe, it's, if, when you install solar panels, the production here is twice as in Germany, which means that the amortization uh, period is also half as in Germany. For example, when you install solar panels, invest in your solar panels in Germany, and put it on your roof, uh, the amortization period is about uh, um, 12 years, 12 to 15 years. But here in Spain, it's possible between five to seven years. So this is a, a big difference with the other uh, countries as well. And at the end, for example, right now, probably uh, you have noticed on your electricity bill, uh, you pay for the electricity around uh, 15 cents per kilowatt hour uh, which you consume. But when you install solar panels, it costs you only 5 cents. So which is one third which uh, you get from the, your electricity provider, which is a big difference indeed. And so one third, which is indeed, if you don't use it, it's not feasible. Is this only for big companies? This isn't for like households and apartments. You're talking about industrial solar panels for I suppose, like, just build whole buildings and um, factories. What's the end user, ideal end user of your panels? From everywhere. I mean, from the private house to a big companies, although the model is uh, different in this case. For example, for the private households, if you put around five solar panels, uh, ten, sorry, 10 solar panels, each 500 watts, you produce around 10,000 kilowatt hour, which is exactly the same as the average electricity consumption by a households in Spain. Of course, you cannot use the whole electricity during the day. You use as you can and you feed the rest uh, into the grid. And your electricity provider will compensate you for the amount which you are uh, feeding into the grid. Are there other benefits apart from the economic ones? for switching to solar energy? Oh, uh, there are also other benefits. I mean, uh, uh, next to the uh, financial benefits, of course, you can decrease your carbon uh, footprint. And also not this one, for example, you get also some tax benefit. An example here in Marbella, when you install solar panel, it means that you have increased your uh, energy efficiency. So then, uh, it depends to the city, but in Marbella, you get around, you get 25% on your property tax for five years, which is uh, something uh, uh, reasonable. Where are the panels manufactured? Where does this all come from, the system? Yeah, this is something which I personally concern about. 90% uh, of the solar panels are coming from uh, China. And... Indeed, I mean, indeed, even if they are coming from China, there are a lot of carbon produced by when uh, generated when, for example, you ship the whole 
uh, solar panels from China to here, but still, even with the solar panels from China installed here, uh, the carbon footprint of the energy produced by the solar panels is less than all other sources of the energy uh, production. But hopefully we will see again that we can produce the solar panels in Europe. At the moment there are a few companies who are produced in Spain and in Germany, but as I said that 90% are coming How did from. you get involved with Oranit, with the company? Uh, indeed, the main idea is uh, coming um, from the year 2017 because I'm coming from uh, originally I'm Iranian and then we have more than 300 in my hometown. We have more than 300 uh, sunny days. So, and I always from the childhood I was very interested into this topic that how we can why we do not use this free energy, which we can get every day. And yeah, when in 2017, I had the chance to found my company, I said that at that point, I wanted to do it with the clean energy, which I've chosen uh, solar energy. Were you already living in this area at the time? Uh, for 2017, you mean? So you moved to Marbella then or to the area? No, I was living in Germany. Living in, oh, do, so you've come from Germany here yes, to yes. do this? Indeed, like, indeed. Those people have nice weather and I know what I'm going to sell them. Indeed. You are a clever indeed. young man. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Here, uh, if you notice that, I mean, more than 300 sunny days and the best location in Europe, but unfortunately I haven't seen that much insulation. And I would say that the main reason, for example, when you go to Germany, everywhere is covered with solar panels on the roofs, even small houses. But here you don't see that much. And the reason is that a lot of people uh, between 2015 and 2018 here in Spain, we had something called sun tax, uh, which has been removed in 2018 during that period. Uh, period. If you have uh, if you have solar panels and connected to the grid, you had to pay an amount monthly to be connected to the, to connect your solar electricity to the into the grid. But in 2018, they have removed it. But uh, still, a lot of people. When here I'm talking to people, still they uh, don't know it that it has been. It removed. does have a quite negative connotation Indeed. because if you made your own energy, you basically had to pay a premium as opposed to saving money. So I think it's good that we can talk about these things, that we can update people on what the new regulations are. And now we have to come back to zero insulation cost. Is this true? This is indeed true. This is indeed true, but not for all customers. So we have the uh, households, which uh, our aim that to offer them a feasible price. So, uh, so this is our aim for the household. Then we have commercial customers. For the commercial customers, we have two uh, categories. The first one are like schools or small hotels, which we help them to raise uh, investment. And how, how through a crowdfunding. And it uh, has uh, two benefits. First of all, they can raise the investment for their uh, solar installation. And the second is the marketing. Assume that you have a hotel here in Marbella and you are going to install uh, solar panels, right? And you raise money by through a crowd uh, funding platform. At least for such project, 200 people each brings, for example, 500 or 1,000 I would say euros. that would be fine as long as you were organizing the crowdfunding and doing everything for them. So everything has a catch. However, it does sound like solar energy is the way forward. It sounds like it is something we need to look into and it would seem that every day it's becoming easier, more accessible. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. Of course, it's getting more in, uh, uh, people can afford it more. And yeah, as I was saying that, for example, but through the crowdfunding, what happens is that, for example, 200 people will hear about your business. No, but this is all very hypothetical. Yeah. As I say, everyone, we have to mm. leave each piece of person to their own marketing. I don't think that's a, a set personally, mm. a sales pitch mm -hmm. from you of how people can go raise money to buy your yeah. product. Anyway, I like your um, 
as Ali would say, who, entrepreneur who's coming up on like you're, a, you're thinking outside the box. How can people contact you to get a quote or to find out more about this? Do you have an office here or is it all through the website? We have, we have our office here and of course people can go on our website www.oranit.de and uh, get more information about uh, our installation. I think that's very cute that you've got a German website although you were coming here for Spain so you did a lot of preparation before you actually made the move. Indeed, indeed we have also our, uh, our website in three languages so Spanish, English and also German. And in German, that's really good. How have you found the change because Germany is a much a, a very different day-to-day -day setup than the lifestyle here in Marbella. How are you adapting to the Marbella lifestyle? Oh, indeed. As I said, I'm uh, coming from Iran, so the cultural, uh, the culture of the two, for example, Iran and Spain, is uh, more closer. So for me, it wasn't very hard to adopt myself. You feel in, more like yeah. you come home indeed, than indeed, anything indeed. else. Indeed, in uh, Spain, I feel uh, very at home. Well, we're really lucky to have you here. Welcome to the Costa del Sol and best of luck with your ventures. It really is very interesting. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for having me here. A absolute my pleasure. We're now going to go to a break and we're going to hear messages from Linear Director because they have really special offers for all of us who live in the province of Malaga. Even free taxi up to four times a month if you've been drinking. But other things like courtesy car, GPS, so much more. And messages from our Zero Hero partners offering free soft drinks to the designated driver. Don't go away. We'll be back after this. Sometimes it's nice to just get lost in the moment without a care in the world. However, if something does come up and you find you're actually lost, it's also nice to know that you can call Linear Director to come and find you. Call Linear Director on 952 14 78 34 to see how they can better your life too. Judy likes to consider herself a clever young woman, which is why she thought very carefully before choosing her insurance company. Now that she needs it, she's jolly glad she chose Linear Director, as it looks as if she might have something better to do. Why don't you be clever like Judy? Call Linear Director on 952 14 78 34 and see which policy is best for you. Out of bounds, Zero Hero Partners. Here we are, sticker going on, delighted to welcome everybody and to be part of the Zero Hero campaign. Delighted. One, one. We are Hero. Welcome here. Are they now turning our rooms? Welcome to Lemongrass, Doña Lola. Thank you very much. Let it set you on your way. No time to hesitate. We are all the same. So much trouble tearing up. Zero Hero, welcome to Portofino, Cabo Pino. Straight to your heart. Hi guys, Casa Tua is proud to welcome the Zero Heroes. So come on in and enjoy free soft drinks for anyone who is the designated driver. Thank you, Nicole. that comes and wants to join our Zero Hero uh, Association, they will have free uh, non-alcoholic drinks at our venue at any time. Hi guys, Ross here from Hogan Stand. Proud to be a member of the Zero Hero campaign. And uh, we recommend everybody. Nobody drives drinking. Everybody who drives a car doesn't have any alcohol in their system. And we're proud to sponsor the Zero Hero program. G-Wine is happy to be Zero Hero partner. How cool is that? <laughs> G-Wine. No need to hesitate. Time to make a change. 
Yeah. 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 Never drink and drive. One beating heart. Mike is proud to be a zero hero partner. Just believe. A few weeks ago, maybe a bit longer, we recorded here. Really awesome because it has a great car park, so always easy to park, great for meetings. And here we are at Serena Mar Properties. The Naranjos de Marbella people in the know. Welcome to Sisters. I meet up with Julia, who I already actually met before when I was looking to rent somewhere. Let's see if she's in. ¿Qué tal? Bienvenida. Muy Muchísimas bien. gracias. ¿Te parece que vamos fuera a la terraza que tiene montada ahí? Perfecto. Así nos cuentas un poco más. Vamos para allá. Muy bien. Y luego volvemos a por vosotros. Then we're coming back All to right. meet you. Bye. Hey, good morning. Hello. Good morning again, Julia. This is a, a strange weather day, but lovely. Anyway, to be in Marbella and Los Naranjos. Encantada de verte y tú haces las ventas y alquileres de larga temporada, ¿verdad? Sí, efectivamente, yo me dedico a lo que es el tema de ventas y de alquileres de temporada. Eh, nos especializamos en todo Marbella, pero principalmente en los naranjos de Marbella. Es muy cool porque, aunque Julia y su real estate boutique cubren todo Marbella, they really do specialize en la urbanización. Los Naranjos, está muy cotizado Los Naranjos, es muy sought after. Está muy cotizado porque es una organización muy tranquila, eh, con unas comodidades eh, muy cerca de, de la playa de Puerto Banús, eh, con acceso a todas las carreteras eh, y la verdad es que sí, está muy cotizada. Apparently, because it's near Puerto Banús, because it's near the beach, it's got great accesses to all the motorways and that, and very peaceful. Los jardines, las fuentes, the gardens, the fountains. Es muy cuidado, it's very looked after. Está muy cuidado, es una urbanización, además muy habitada durante todo el año. Eh, no es solamente una urbanización vacacional. Aquí hay una gran población que reside durante todo el año. One of the other big pluses that Julia is saying is because people live here all year round. So it's not a holiday place, it's not abandoned and lonely and desolate in winter there's always life and uh, if we should go it feels safe muy segura efectivamente hay mucha variedad porque tienes los apartamentos pero luego también como bordeando rodeando hay las casas a los lados like you got apartments in the middle and then different semi detached houses all around the outside efectivamente es una organización muy variada eh, tenemos desde bajos con dos dormitorios con un dormitorio todos los áticos son duplex, con unas bonitas terrazas para poder tomar el sol, disfrutar de este sol maravilloso que tenemos en Marbella. She's saying they've got one bedroom, two bedroom, garden apartments, and then all the attic ones are duplex with great sun terraces and views. ¿Qué tipo de precio estamos mirando para un alquiler? What kind of prices are you looking at to rent in Los Naranjos? Pues un alquiler de una vivienda de dos dormitorios está rondando los 900 euros al mes two, en larga temporada. Two bedrooms for long term rent is about 900 euros. ¿Y tenéis disponibilidad ahora? Do you have any availabilities? Ahora mismo en larga temporada está todo completo. She's saying at the moment long term is completely full. ¿Habéis visto diferencias? Por el COVID o, o realmente en larga temporada, igual. Igual. No hemos visto una gran diferencia. Sí que con el COVID se ha notado más lo que ha sido el alquiler vacacional, la corta temporada. Pero en lo que es ventas eh, y alquileres de larga temporada no ha habido, eh, no ha habido cambio. Al contrario, más movimiento. Oh, it's funny because um, Julia is saying that, that because of COVID, maybe short-term rentals were affected, but the long-term rentals and the sales The, the country has been actually very, very busy. Qué bonito, ¿no? Ver que hay una positividad a la adversidad. It's nice to see that there's an upside to all the negativity. Efectivamente, efectivamente. Y además, mucha gente eh, que quiere comprar, quiere salir de las ciudades, han vivido una pandemia muy encerrados y quieren disfrutar de, del sol, de la naturaleza y del aire. A lot of people are wanting to get out of the cities, obviously, having been locked down for so long. 
And so Huli is delighted that the sales are also going up because people are looking to have that home where it, you've got the air and the light and the ocean. Estamos cambiando nuestras prioridades, ¿verdad, Julia? En Totalmente. ese sentido, trabajar desde casa, working from home, different priorities now of our living accommodation. Totalmente, se están cambiando las prioridades, eh, se trabaja mucho desde casa, la gente quiere aire, eh, no quiere sentirse encerrado en un piso pequeño, en una ciudad grande, eh, sin, sin tener movilidad. Y hoy en día el teletrabajo es lo que nos facilita, poder vivir donde queramos. Sí, yeah, the uh, teleworking, sales is, and um, everything else is really making a big difference. Cuando queremos comprar una casa en Los Naranjos o en Marbella, ¿Qué son las pautas que deberíamos considerar, Julia? What should we take into consideration when buying a home in Los Naranjos o Marbella? Debemos de considerar eh, calidad-precio, por supuesto. Eh, yo siempre eh, asesoro a, a las personas que quieren comprar que compren pensando en que si tienen que vender mañana eh, sea una propiedad de fácil venta. ¿no? Aquí en Los Naranjos la verdad es que hay mucha demanda se venden muy rápido las casas eh, y, y el cliente tiene muy claro lo que quiere. The nice thing Julia is saying is when you're buying something she likes to recommend to take into consideration that you can sell it quickly if you want to and in an area like Los Naranjos that's always very sought after that means you're protecting your investment. In um, ofertas de interés ahora mismo, any good offers going at the moment? Bueno, sí, tenemos apartamentos ahora mismo de dos dormitorios, eh, bajos, desde los 259.000 euros a los 270.000. Eh, muy bonitos, con sus terrazas y es un, es un momento bueno todavía porque van a subir, eh, van a, a seguir subiendo los precios, no van a bajar. So as from like 259, 280 thousand euros, there are a couple of two bedrooms going, but obviously prices will be going back up. El lockdown is over, the state of alarm is over, people will be moving and traveling again, and I suppose a lot more people will want to move full time to somewhere like Maravilla. Yes. <laughs> Julia, thank you so much. Muchas gracias, Nicole, un placer. Y cuando queráis, aquí estamos, al lado del Mercadona y de Sister Taperí en Los Naranjos de Marbella. Oh, we're going to go in now and quickly. Thank you, Julia. She's just saying that we're next to our wonderful thank Sisters Taperí, also the Mercadona. It's easy to park. And um, before we go, should we just pop in and say hello to your short term rental people? Mm -hmm. So if anyone's thinking of coming on holiday, they might be interested to meet them too. Gracias, Julia. Gracias, Nicole. Qué vecina más guay. What a great name. We are Hey, Patricia. Hello, how are you? ¿Cómo estás? Encantada. And here we have Georgie. Hello. And Georgie, you're from Bulgaria. I'm from Bulgaria. How cool is that? Perhaps we can take your masks off for a second as you're yeah, sure. protected. And I've got my distance. You guys have got your distance. So the two of you are responsible for making people's holiday dreams come true. Yes. Yes, we are. Yes, yes, yes. We have a really nice apartment here in Los Naranjos, uh, especially for families. And for kids, we have so many pools, uh, it's fantastic to come here. Everybody loves it. Everybody that is staying with us before, they always repeat. It really is nice, and it's nice because the urbanization seems to be able to handle the extra people, even the residents. Yeah. It seems to blend in well yeah, with yeah, the... Yeah, 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 no problem. Wow. It's, I think it goes well, especially the British. We have a lot of, 90% of our clients are British, so... They're easy, easy going, easy people, so it's fantastic for us. It's Wonderful. good business. Where Hopefully are you from? Come. I'm you? from here, I'm from here. From but you're Marbella, you're a... No, San Pedro. San, oh, San Pedreña. Sí, soy San Pedreña. Oh my gosh, that's so authentic, that's yeah, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nobody believed that, we, we still exist. But we exactly, are. there's so few and far between. I feel blessed yeah. to meet an authentic San Pedreña. I am, I am. Gracias por dejarnos estar en... We are really very grateful. And Georgie, you're actually from, where was it, Bulgaria? From Bulgaria. That yeah. is very cool. How long have you been in Spain? Nearly five years now. But you were saying before that you were living in Surbiton. I used to live in UK, yeah, in good old London. Yeah. How did you end up in that area and what did you, what were you doing there? I was working in a retail shop in a big TK Max chain, before that in a hotel, and personal circumstances drove me here to Spain. Wonderful, but it's been a really nice experience giving you all the abilities to now 
be doing real estate here. What do you? Absolutely, it's a mini dream come true. What's yeah. it like seeing the Brits out of England here on holiday? Shocking. <laughs> it's a hard to explain phenomenon, but they <laughs> love being here, doing everything. Within all permissions. I think it's really <laughs> nice to get that point of view of uh, the phenomena, the British yeah. phenomena. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's it? Um, what's it looking like for this summer? Are you booked up already? Are people we, anxiously waiting to get over here? Yeah, we still waiting. I'm not sure if you know about the traffic light. We are still amber with the British, and it's our big income. So we hopefully. The things change and became, we can became like a green green country. So at the moment there are some, still some availabilities. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's good for any other nationality wanting to come to Marbella. Yeah, yeah. The Brits aren't here yet, so no. contact Georgie or the lovely Patricia. Please do here and to get your booking for anywhere in Marbella, but particularly Los Naranjos, right? Thank you so much. That will be great. Okay, lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> Look at that, the guys have already got our channel up on television, ready to see themselves tomorrow. So from now on, only Radio Televisión Marbella in the office, please. Y además, aquí es Prima Hermano de Javi, our camera guy. So, hola, Osa. Hi, Rocia. So our camera guy, Javier de la Osa, his uh, wife, this is his wife's cousin. How cool is that small world? Now we know authentic San Pedro. And here they are ready for the show tomorrow. How cool is that? Nos vemos en la tele. Thank See you, you on the so TV. <laughs> bye bye. I really enjoyed the show. I hope you did too. Please join me again tomorrow for more of what's going on in Marbera now. And if you'd like to check out previous recordings, you can do so easily. RTV Marbella has a website. They also have a YouTube channel, as do I. And then also there's a link to the TV, my column in the Euro Weekly and the Zero Hero website from my website, NicoleKing.es. Take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Hasta mañana. If we try, just believe it, what you're